Do you accept yourself unconditionally and live with yourself in harmony? Or do you find yourself wanting to change aspects in part about yourself that you judge so harshly before being able to even consider loving and accepting yourself as you are? Hi, I'm Jessica from Jessica Adele Consulting Services. And in this short segment today, I'll give you nine tips to start developing your self-esteem today. But first, what is self-esteem? Self-esteem is having a good, a very good opinion of yourself. It shouldn't be confused with vanity. We're not talking about vanity here. People with high self-esteem are generally calm. They're positive. They're expressive, assertive, and purposeful in what they do. People with high self-esteem don't constantly seek the approvals of others, and they're very independent. Those type of people are continually looking at ways of improving their self, their behavior, and their performance. Your self-esteem relates to your source of personal power, which energetically sits in the abdomen, right above the belly, right above the belly button. So this is known as the solar plexus area. I'll just show you here. It's this one, the solar plexus. When a person's solar plexus is in balance, they exude real confidence, they feel very self-motivated, and they have a strong sense of purpose and really good self-esteem. When your solar plexus is out of balance, when that chakra is out of balance, you may have troubles uh, making decisions, so you feel indecisive and um, you have control issues and you also suffer from low self-esteem, which is as a result of that. When your self-esteem is low, you tend to become fearful, negative, passive, aggressive, self-destructive, sometimes unmotivated, and you feel powerless and unworthy. So, here are nine tips to help you develop and start developing and building your self-esteem today. Tip number one, don't look to other people and things outside of yourself for approval and to make you feel good about who you are and what you do. This means taking full responsibility for yourself and backing yourself up. So be very conscious with how you relate to say social media platforms and whether you are ascribing your worth with how many likes you receive and the attention that you receive. Because if you are, that means that's the trigger where you need to be working on having a more healthy relationship with social media as an example. Tip number two, accept yourself unconditionally. It's very normal to want to improve aspects about yourself that you say not too happy with, but it's not healthy to resign from loving and accepting yourself and embracing yourself until you change those aspects of yourself that say you perceive as perceived flaws or character defects. Um, so it's very important to love yourself, say warts and all. Tip number three, be assertive. Stand up for yourself. Don't tolerate any disrespectful behavior or treatment that can erode your sense of self and your self-esteem. And don't let anyone dampen your light. Tip number four, be authentic. The more true you are to yourself and your values, the more you act in alignment with who you really are and your deepest self. The more you do that, the better you feel about yourself and how you are living. Tip number five, have faith and live with purpose. Believe in yourself and develop a connection with the source greater than yourself. So that could be a connection with a higher power or whether it is um, religion that you ascribe to, spirituality or nature or something outside of yourself um, that constantly gives you um, hope, belief, and faith, and uh, a greater sense of um, meaning in life and to be able to live a bit more purposefully. Tip number six, immerse yourself in a hobby or a passion that brings you so much joy and fulfillment and a sense of upliftment. 
say a hobby, whether it's a fitness activity, dance, playing a music instrument, something that brings you into the present moment um, and that you can routinely practice in a way that also boosts your confidence. So as I said, it could be a fitness related activity, an instrument or anything that resonates with you, maybe yoga. Tip number seven. Surround yourself by people that uplift and support you, not people who bring you down. This means you have to take responsibility again. Um, if you are not finding that support from your tribe or the people around you, go actively out there and look for a tribe or a community that you vibe with, especially if you're not getting that support from your family or your social network around you. Tip number eight. Do not let your life circumstances, your background, your nationality, your status or any hardships that you've endured define your potential as a human being and what you can manifest and co-create in this world. And lastly, tip number nine, repeat daily positive affirmations to yourself about personal power. There's quite a few of those videos on YouTube. Um, and at the beginning, that would really help in building a habit in your mindset um, for improving your personal power. So some affirmations on personal power could be like repeating mantras that say, I stand in my personal power, I stand in my personal power. Or as I take on new challenges, I feel confident, calm and powerful. Another good one is the only thing I need to control is how I respond to a situation. Another one is I have the power to create positive change in my life and heal from anything. And another really good one that I repeat a lot is I am my own authority. So with those nine tips, I hope that you can take away one of them or all of them and try to start applying them today. I wish you well on your personal development journey and if this video resonated with you, please like, share, subscribe to my channel and let me know that you're interested so I can create more of this content. Thank you and goodbye for now.